Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, I've just been checking on my channel and uh, I've noticed I've only done one feeding video in the last couple of weeks. So I want to apologise for that. So as you can see in the uh, video, this is my Orthorhychus species, Scorpion from Pakistan. And this is an adult female, believe it or not. Uh, this is an actual dwarf species. Um, I ordered one of these for my friend from Germany and when I opened the box um, there was actually two uh, which was very nice of the uh, gentleman to uh, add me one as well I did actually say to the gentleman in Germany that I'm buying it for a friend it's not actually for me I was just doing a favour for somebody and he uh, kindly put a surprise in for me as well because I have bought a lot of scorpions from Germany from my good friend so yeah I'll be going to giving her a feed today and uh, I'm thinking about putting her into, not a bigger enclosure, but something a bit more fanciful, like um, a glass enclosure, something a bit more uh, better. So yeah, I'll be giving her a feed today, and uh, let's get a roach. So everyone, as you can see in this little sling pot here, I have a small red runner for my uh, scorpion. So yeah, let's drop it in and let's see if she's hungry. Here goes everyone. She's definitely hungry. She ran after that, like you saying bolt. <laughs> So you can see she has a huge, huge tail. I'm not too sure on the uh, how potent these uh, scorpions are. I've got no idea. So you can see she's tucking into that straight away. As I said, I haven't fed her for a couple of weeks, so she's definitely uh, she's definitely hungry. She don't really stay still that often. She is a scorpion that uh, likes to. Uh, move around now you you would think with a tail that size and the pincers so small you'd think she'd have a very strong sting and the looks like the roach is immobilized already so that probably tells me that she has got a strong sting a beautiful little scorpion though so happy I've got her in my collection. You can see one of the legs has come off. So yeah, I'll leave her for a, a few minutes. Let her settle down and start eating. And I'll get back to you soon, everyone. So everyone, as you can see, she started to eat her meal now. She just never, ever stops moving. She's always on the move all the time. It's just probably because I'm using my light. So yeah, beautiful little scorpion. I couldn't believe how small there was when I actually unpacked uh, the scorpion. I uh, gave the one to my friend, which he paid for. And I had this one. So yeah, I thought... I knew there were dwarf species, but I thought they'd be a bit bigger than this. Um, they're only... Probably, it's, it's not even an inch. It's probably around about the three centimeter around that area so it's about the best i'm going to get so far i can't zoom in anymore it's uh very difficult to try and get her to stay still as you can see look she just never ever stops moving She's just carrying her food around. So yeah, I thought I'd just do a little scorpion feeding. As I said, I haven't done one for a while. I do try and feed my scorpions, but uh, if I don't get an attack, then there's no point in me uploading it. 
a few of my scorpions are not eating at the moment. So I don't know if they're going into pre-molt or they're generally just not hungry. So yeah, you can see it. She's always on the move. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll let her settle down, settle down and eat her meal. And uh, I'll get back to you soon, everyone. So everyone, because because she keeps moving around a lot, I'm going to uh, let her eat her dinner in peace. And I'll put the uh, stone slates back in and the water dish, dish back in. So yeah, I'll leave her to eat her meal. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.